back, everyone. Hearings into the IRS scandal exposing a new point man, apparently. And if Town Hall's Katie Pavlich is right, his background should be raising some questions, so we have to ask her about it. Katie, what do we need to know about this guy? Well, you know, Jenna, since the beginning of the IRS scandal, since the IRS came out and apologized for targeting of conservative groups, we heard from the IRS and from the White House that this was only a few low-level rogue employees in Cincinnati. But according to testimony uh, by Carter Hull, Carter Hull, who was a longtime IRS attorney, directions and instructions about how to target conservative groups actually come, came from the top of the IRS and the IRS chief counsel's office, mainly uh, chief counsel uh, William Wilkins. Now, William Wilkins is a longtime Democratic donor. He's been loyal to Democrats since the 1980s. Um, in 2008, he actually represented former uh, Reverend Wright, who was President Obama's former uh, church leader, uh, pro bono. And now we've heard that he actually was in charge of coming up with these tactics to target these groups based on political points. Let's get to that point in a second. But I also read that he also donated to GOP lawmakers, too, that were active in tax law, even though he does does have a Democrat, a Democratic background. So how unusual is it, just taking a look at the structure, how unusual is it that the chief counsel of the IRS would be involved in this sort of level of, of screening, if you want to use, if you want to use that word? Well, it's not particularly unusual, but the, the point here is that they blamed it on Cincinnati and said that no political appointees were in charge. Now, William Wilkins is one of two political appointees appointed by President Obama in the IRS. And we've heard that these cases were kicked up to the top to him uh, when they were first coming uh, out after the 2010 uh, House election when Tea Party groups got the Republicans to take over the House. And then they were kicked back down to these employees in Cincinnati who were given orders and they were just following through with those orders. We're going to stay on this story. Katie, thank you so much. Thank you.